Welcome back to M. Ratthitch channel, the best place to learn table tennis. The video has the subtitle. Please turn on captioning for better understanding. Hi, how are you today? This is the semi-final match between the two best teams in European Champion Leagues. The leg one, the match is very good with the best European players like Timo Ball, Ovcharov, Dang Chu, and Tomokazu Harimoto from Japan. Let's enjoy the amazing match. Confirmation there of the way that the games have gone so far. Harimoto winning the first, Chelberry winning the second, Morigard out dueling Timo Ball, and then Chelberry taking it in the fifth set against Halimoto. So now it all comes down to the final two. Dmitry Ovchirov, who was beaten handsomely by Anton Chelberry earlier, and Dang Chu, who Halimoto saw off in the first game. Both of these two players losing in their opener, and now they've got the chance to come away as the hero in the European table tennis. We have a very exciting looking decider on our hands here. Dang Chu of Borussia Dusseldorf, the world rank 11 German, the right hander and 2022 European champion in singles. He will aim to lead the all conquering Borussia Dusseldorf to a 3 2 win in leg one against Neu Ulm. Dmitry Ovchirov world rank number 10 couldn't get much closer than that world rank 10 v 11 the 34 year old will aim to atone for his earlier defeat and win this one for Neu Ulm could already have been a crucial moment Hanimoto losing out there in the fifth set decider against Anton Chelberry and that means that whatever happens now, Borussia Dusseldorf will, at worst, go into leg two, having lost 3-2 here. And that would mean a 3-1 win, or better, would already be enough for them to seal a place in the final when they meet again on Sunday. If Dang Chu, the world number 11, is to win this one against Dmitry Ovchirov. Suddenly Borussia Dusseldorf from struggling for most of this evening. Suddenly, seven-time Champions League winners would find themselves in a very good position ahead of Sunday's second leg. Ovchirov starting strongly. Never really got settled in his game against Anton Chelberry. And he settled better against Dang Chu. Off the net and away, and as quick as that. From two love to two all. Good forehand. Played the flat and speedy drive. Tried to disguise the backhand there. Nice idea from Ovchirov, but it was read well by Dang Chu. Look at the late change, but... speed of the read there from Dang Chu put that back in his favour. Three all Dang Chu to serve. Oh. Off the net and away. Wasn't far away from Ovchirov. He'll look back on that as a missed chance. The ball sat up nicely for him. Just misjudged the amount of spin that came off the racket face. Yeah. 
That's nice though. Ovchirov already to some extent looking more comfortable in this game than he ever did against Chelberi. Found himself under pressure from early on in that game and never really righted himself. for Dmitry Ovcherov attacking the third ball and causing two problems well the forehands there from Dang Chu were mesmerising really reacted strongly jumping up to get all the power that he could from his body into the forehand loop. Got some hook on it as well to carry it out to the left. Five all, Chu to serve. Again, the rally breaks into a forehand duel. But this time it's Ovchilov who comes out on top. This one set up very nicely indeed in set one. The contest overall is at two games apiece. First set here between Ovchirov and Chu. Very tight indeed. Clever play. Ovchirov leading 7 5. Thank you. One of the few European players using the pen hold. Finds himself 5 7 down. Ovchirov at 7-5 to serve. That'll be 8-5. Went for the big return, Dang Chu, but miscued it. Into the net. From the world number 11. Well, you can understand Dang Chu trying his hardest immediately as he receives it. It's one of the strengths of the penhold style. He can attack on serve and play for the quick rallies and go for it on your receiving shots as well. But struggling right now. Set points for Ovchirov. Ovchirov takes it. Off the net and away. And Ovchirov leads by a set to love here. Bang Chu. Still knows there's a lot of table tennis yet to be played. He didn't look too disappointed to see that first set slip away, but he'll know that he made a few errors in that first set and that in the end came back to cost him and Borussia Dusseldorf. Das war ein Kompliment an euch vor allem, weil für die Stimmung seid ihr zuständig. Ihr da drüben, wie hier auf der Tribüne, wollen wir mal von uns hören lassen, der Live-Stimme ist ja immer noch aktiv. Confirmation there that Ovchirov came through by 11 points to 6 in set 1. Can he back that up and start strongly in the second set? Even in the early stages. When the points were level at four all, Ovchirov was looking comfortable at the table this time. The man in red. Twice a European champion. Six times an Olympic medalist. We shouldn't be surprised at all about anything that Dmitry Ovchirov can pull off. But Dan Chu opposite. It's a pretty fearsome competitor as well, to say the least. And there's proof of that. Forehand from Dang Chu onto the backhand of Ovchirov, and it was a mismatch.
We'll see this here. Did more than just clip the table. It caught off Shirov out. Love to. Long from Ofshirov. That's the start that Dang Chu and Borussia Dusseldorf wanted to the second set here. <laughs> Ofshirov gets one on the board. Important for him, important for Neu Ulm. Again, the forehand from Chu. Just unable to live with it at the moment, Dmitry Ovchirov. Again, that time Chu looking to seize the advantage and pounce right away on the third ball, but he put it long. 2-4, off Shirov to serve. Oh, well disguised to play from Dang Chu, but it didn't work out for him ultimately. Lined up. Looked like he was going to go for a speed loop in the end. Almost just blocked it back, but Ovchirov read it, and he read that too. Smashed it away. Just kicked up high enough on the backhand from Chu that Ovchirov could watch it all the way. That time, Chu upping the ante. Turned out in his favour. We've got another good close set on our hands here. Into the net from Ovchirov. It'll be 5-4 Dang Chu. And 6-4, as quick as that. Caught the table. 7 4, Dang Chu. Finding some rhythm now, the Borussia Dusseldorf player. Good rally. Backhand flick after flick from Dmitry Ovchirov. Be forced to hold on in set two here. Dang Chu still with the advantage at seven five and serving. Big cheers from the crowd. They know that was important. It was an eye-catching rally as well. Dang Chu defended so well for so long. Looked to be just trying to turn it around into attack as well. In the end, he thought better of it. And the indecision might have cost him as he put that long. Still leading seven points to six, though, Dang Chu. Ovchirov having won the first set. Chance to consult with the teams on the side. Finally poised indeed in the ETTU Men's Champions League semi-finals. Leg one here. It's TTC Neu Ulm 2, Borussia Dusseldorf 2. It's all come down to this. Dmitry Ovchirov 
against Dang Chu. World number 10 against world number 11. One of them will lead their team to victory in leg one here. Whatever happens, it'll finish 3-2. And it will be all to play for in the second leg on Sunday in Dusseldorf. You just get the feeling that Neu Ulm will need to carry the advantage into the game. The leg in Dusseldorf will be so hard for them to come out on top of in any case. <laughs> Securing a small advantage to take back with them, or take with them to Dusseldorf rather. Could be so important for Neu Ulm. <laughs> Into the net. Sheer pace on the top spin loop there from Dang Chu was too much for Ovshirov. <laughs> Into the net off the third ball backhand for Ovshirov. Cheap point for Chu. Played that the way he wanted to, though, Ovchirov. Got the lateral spin out to the left. Forced Dang Chu to lean over. Moved him around the way he wanted. Powered the forehand loop. 9-7, Dang Chu. Off the net, he'll get another chance. Feeling the pressure a little bit, feeling the nerves here, Dang Chu, but he's well positioned. Again, off the net. This point would give him three game points to level up at one set all. He can't take it though, instead, it's back to 8 9 with Dmitry Ovchirov. So, so close at this stage. <laughs> Off the net post and away. <laughs> Off Chirov pulls it back to nine all. He is not giving up on set two. Dang Chu looking so good in this set. As we come towards the culmination of this one though. Slightly favouring Ovchirov at nine all on serve. He'll get himself a game point as well. Bang Chu once again with the intention to go for it as he receives the serve. It's not helped him there. That time though, had a sight of the last time and got it wrong. Second time lucky, Bang Chu. Oh, nothing lucky about it. Good backhand. Leveled up at 10 all and now serving as well, Dang Chu. Oh, massive win for Dang Chu. That was a thrilling rally. Of Chirov hanging on time and time again. He felt that he might have almost broken his opponent had he come through in that rally. Chu was bossing it from well back. Ovchirov was clinging on, but game point Dang Chu all of a sudden. That one saved. The serves will alternate now as we've got past 10 all. It's now 11 all. Who can hold their nerve? in this shootout at the end of set two. Ovchirov took the first 11-6.
Pang Chu needs this to come back. It's wide. Pang Chu will have another game point. Off Trough serve was read well. Dang Chu got it back with interest. Off Trough put it long. So Dimitri Ovcherov level now at one set all with Dang Chu. Dang Chu of Borussia Dusseldorf, the world number 11, coming through a thriller of a second set there by 12 points to 10. Sorry, 13 points to 11, as you can see on the scoreboard right now. Either way, a very, very close second set there. Ovchirov winning the first 11 6. Chu winning the second 13 11. And just as it's been all night, a back and forth battle between TTC Neuilm and Borussia Dusseldorf. Neuilm really giving Borussia Dusseldorf a lot to think about. But just as when it appears that Borussia Dusseldorf don't have the answers, of course. The seven-time European Table Tennis Union Men's Champions League champions. They've come back. They've kept themselves right in this. Two games each, one set each. So, so close. Ovchirov to serve at the start of the third. Off the body of Dong Chu. A little bit more applause from the home crowd as they try and fire up the man in red, Dmitry Ovchirov. The ideal start from him there. It's been all or nothing on the returns from Dang Chu. Really lined up that one. Huge backswing from Dang Chu and it had too much pace on it for Dmitry Ovchirov. 1-2, Dang Chu on serve. Good, accurate flick there from Ovchirov. A decent angle on it as well and that forced Dang Chu into a shot that he didn't really want to make. 3-1 off Shirov. Hey. Little look up there from Dung Chu. Important for him to hold on and keep it close here in set three. Ovchirov trying to get himself fired up here. Lost his first match of the evening. Three love. He's already gone better than that in this one by taking the first set. But now he's been pegged back at one each. He really wants to recapture the initiative here. The 34-year-old Ovchirov. World number 10 right now. Nine times a winner at World Tour level. You could hear the sorry from Ovchirov. Two five, Chu to serve under pressure early in the third. Two six. Healthy looking lead for TTC Noy Ulm and Dmitry Ovchirov. Six two.
gone long there. You could put that one down as an unforced error. Still in the flow of the rally. Just trying to add a little bit to it. Add a bit of speed to the loop. Get it rushing forward on the bounce. Went long. Oh, crucial shot. I think Dan Chu might have thought he had that one. Flicked it out to the right of Ovchirov. Reached for it on the forehand. Just pushed it back. And it was enough. Eventually, the cheers from the crowd greet the win there of that point by Dmitry Ovchirov. What a rally it was too. See the one taking a huge touch off the net cord. Still found the white line at the back of the table. Ovchirov had ample time to wind up for the shot. But the rally kept on going. 4-8. Dang Chu, four behind. 8-4 now, Ovchirov. Holding a commanding lead in set three, but he's got to see it over the line. Pressure on for Dang Chu. He needs one of these next couple of points at least, if not more. And he's got one. First one goes his way. Needs to reduce the deficit to three. <laughs> Big return from Dung Chu. Works out for him in the end. He needed a couple more shots to confirm it. Just using the push block on the forehand. Ovchirov didn't react well enough and now suddenly it's back at 6-8. Dang Chu just about within touching distance again and timeout has been called. Dmitry Mazanov coach of TTC Neu-Ulm having a word with Dmitry Ovchirov who's right in this here and still in a good position in set three at 8-6 not quite as promising as it had looked at 8-4 the winner of this set whoever that may be will at least know that they're guaranteed to go down to a playoff a fifth set tie break decider at, at worst they'll give themselves a foothold give themselves one step towards sealing this tie it'll be 3-2 to either TTC Neu Ulm or Borussia Dusseldorf. Who can edge their team towards that win by taking this third set? Brilliant rally. Bang Chu fighting back in set three here. Chance to level up at eight all, having been 4 8 behind. And he has done it. Four points in a row for Dang Chu. He looked right up against it with Ovchirov. Serving at 8-4. Now it's back to Ovchirov at 8-8. First point in the last five going the way of Ovchirov, though. 
back into a good position at 9-8 on serve if he can hold it. Tentative start to the rally, but Ovchirov turned it on there. Trading backhands, but he moved that across very nicely indeed. Ovchirov with two game points, but Dung Chu with a couple of serves still to come. Pressure on the 2022 European singles champion, Dung Chu of Borussia Düsseldorf. He had to lean all the way back there, Ovchirov. But he made Dang Chu play another shot. And Dang Chu, the world number 11, couldn't do it. Noel and Dmitry Ovchirov leading by two sets to one here in this deciding rubber. Eleven eight in the third in favour of Dmitry Ovchirov. And now Dang Chu must win set four. Trying to keep the crowd interested here, but in fairness, the table tennis is very much enough to keep the crowd engaged here. It's been a brilliant contest so far between TTC Neuil and Borussia Düsseldorf. Two games apiece and now two sets to one in favour of Dmitry Ovcherov right now in the decider. That can all change in a heartbeat. That's the beauty of table tennis. Dan Chu is down, but he is absolutely not out here. Lost his opening game to Tomokatsu Harimoto. What seems like rather a long time ago. There's been so much drama since then. Twice Neuil moving ahead in games and twice pegged back by Borussia Düsseldorf. Different rally there. Getting some variation into the game. It's gone the way of Ovchirov as well. Played a few different shots before opening up that loop. Lured the error there from Dung Chu as well. <laughs> Into the net. Dung Chu doesn't like it. Of Chirov. Three up in set four. Long from Ovchirov, Chu gets his first point on the board in set four. Important not to fall, love four behind. So much of this is just about the momentum of the game. The points pass so quickly when you're not at your best and your opponent's going through a purple patch if you can hang on in there it can really make the difference because the momentum will change right now though Ovchirov enjoying it five of the first six points have gone his way and he wants to get this wrapped up as he runs to the sideline Ovchirov wants to keep this momentum going to might use a timeout at some point to try and quash this little run. Ovchirov serving at 5-1 in the fourth set. Into the net and that'll take away some of his momentum anyway. Just drying any moisture off the bottom of his feet there, off the soles of his trainers. Ovchirov. 
needed that one to keep his big lead as it is Dang Chu has made inroads into the large Ofchirov advantage early on in set four if he holds these two serves he'll be back on terms It's wide from Ovchirov. The crowd gasp and groan. They can't believe it here, but the home team, TTC Noi Ulm, have really lost an opportunity to hold on to their advantage. Had so much time there to step all the way in. Had to move forward a lot, but didn't quite get it right there, Ovchirov. I said the momentum would change. It changed immediately, and Ovchirov really needed that. Did not want to see Dang Chu levelling up at 5 all. Can Dang Chu level up at 6 all though, nonetheless? Big point, just pushed the net all the way back before bouncing on Ovchirov's side. 6-5 in set four here. Long from Ovchirov. Ovchirov, the man who lost to Timo Boll in the 2021 European Championship final. He's looking to give his team a boost on their way towards the ETTU Men's Champions League final if possible right now it's poised ever so nicely though Chu has hung in there and serves at 6 all 7-6 off Chirov you can see the little stamp in frustration from Dang Chu clip the net on the way through Dang Chu out of alignment. And that was good on the forehand. Driving it down towards the forehand of Dang Chu. Enough on it though to make it unreturnable. It was a loop really. Got the spin on it to kick it up off the racket in a way. Big point. Big point for Ovchirov. 9 6 and serving. Oh, what tenacity from Dang Chu. He shows exactly why he's the European champion in singles table tennis from 2022. Dong Chu there. Under real pressure in the rally and on the scoreboard. But he stuck to it. Ovchirov would have been dreaming of coming away with a bunch of match points. Instead, still close. That one's up and away though. A wry smile from Dang Chu. Ovchirov might not have as many match points as he wanted. But he still has three. This would seal the win for Noi Ulm tonight. Off the net and away. Only centimetres in it. But Ovchirov is not able to take leg one of the semi-finals with a 3-2 win at the first time of asking. Dang Chu though, the world number 11, still on the brink of defeat here. And Borussia Dusseldorf on the brink of what would be a surprise defeat at the hands of Neu Ulm. Seventh in the Bundesliga, they're belying that tonight with a brilliant performance. Match point off Chirov. And he's got it! Dang Ju goes long. Dmitry Ovchirov recovers from his three-love defeat earlier on in the evening to lead TTC Neu Ulm to a 3-2 victory over Borussia Dusseldorf. 
absolutely brilliant action in the European Table Tennis Union Men's Champions League semi-finals. This is just leg one. There's still leg two to come on Sunday the 19th in Dusseldorf. But Neuol have provided a much sterner test than some would have expected them to tonight against Borussia Dusseldorf. They've come through to win this three games to two. There's still all to play for in leg two, of course, of these semi-finals. But Neuol, Dmitry Mazunov's team, have given themselves a real fighting chance of securing what looked like an unlikely place in the Men's Champions League finals. It's no easy feat to come up against the German record champions, the Men's Champions League record winners, Borussia Dusseldorf, and take it into the second leg in a position of advantage. But that's exactly what TTC Neuilm have managed this evening. Having won four out of four in Group C, they managed to sneak through tonight with a win in leg one. It was close at times, it was on the brink at times. Tomokatsu Harimoto just missed a chance to seal what would have been a 3-1 victory. He lost out in the fifth set in game four that might come back to haunt Neu Ulm if Dusseldorf can turn this around on Sunday. But nonetheless, the home crowd can celebrate what has been a brilliant performance from TTC Neu Ulm tonight. Hanimoto won the first game. Schalberg struck back for Borussia Dusseldorf in game two. Trulls Muragord put in a brilliant performance to see off Timo Bull in five sets in game three. Halimoto was then defeated by the excellent Anton Chalberi in game four to level up at 2-2. But Ovcharov has steered Neu Ulm to this 3-2 victory tonight over Borussia Dusseldorf. Thanks a lot for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this. It's been thrilling action, dramatic action from the European Table Tennis Union Men's Champions League semi-finals. That was leg one still to come at the weekend. Mulhausen against Saarbrücken in their second leg. Saarbrücken took the first leg 3-1 against Postsportverein Mulhausen. They've still got the second leg to compete on Sunday, as have these two teams. Neu Ulm will go to Düsseldorf looking for that place in the men's Champions League finals. Good night from me. I hope you've enjoyed this. The winners tonight in leg one of the semi-finals. It's Neu Ulm who triumphed. Read more about table tennis on my blog, pingsunday.com. Get free ebook and coaching advices. See you in the next video.